Hello students, this is your professor, Dr. Mink, and I have a program queued up which will help us to demonstrate, or help me to demonstrate, how to set a breakpoint based on a condition code. You can set a breakpoint based upon many different values and or conditions or program counter values. In this example, we're going to set a breakpoint so when the condition code equals Z. And this is a program a student wrote um, from a previous assignment. It's actually not a great way to do this. That's why I'm putting this up here. So if students find this and try to use it, well, I'll know. <laughs> so in this example, we're loading values from an array of data that begins at hex 3100. And we're simply adding them to an accumulator. And this particular student didn't understand how to set the condition code prior to the branch. So what he or she is doing is they're loading the value pointed to by R1 minus 1. So they're loading the last value again. And then we're branching back to 3003 and loading the next value. This is actually going to set the condition code. So let's take a look at this. And I'm going to set a breakpoint. And I'm going to choose condition code equals n. I've already added this, but you just select add. And you'll see as we step into this program, everything gets cleared. So we're clearing um, R3. We're clearing R2, uh, we've got R1 set to the pointer value, 3100. We're loading the value uh, pointed to by R1, zero offset into R4. It starts at 10. Um, so there's the 10. We're adding it to our accumulator in R3. Uh, we're incrementing the counter. So we've got one value. Um, we're adding, I'm sorry, we're adding it to the accumulator now. And then the, the student loads that value again to set the condition code because the add would have set the condition code. And they're branching zero or positive and coming back up here. And then they're actually loading uh, the value pointed to by R1 and um, that's 20. Uh, we're adding one to the pointer, uh, we're adding one to the counter, we're accumulating that, and then we're loading um, the value again to determine whether or not we branch. Then we'll load the 30, accumulate it 40, then we're loading the 50. So watch what's going to happen real soon. We're Moving the pointer to 3105, I happen to know that the value at 3105 is negative. Okay. We're adding uh, one to the counter. We're accumulating that last value. And then we're loading the same value back. The condition code is still positive. And here we go. We got the condition code is negative because we loaded the value pointed to at R1 into R4, which is a negative value. This program happens to be incorrect. And that's why I put this here as our example. The example was not how to write the accumulator program that terminates on a sentinel value. It was how to set the condition code or set a breakpoint so the condition code equals N causes the machine to pause. Now, if I select OK, I continue, and you'll see that negative 60 is now going to get added to the accumulation. This whole thing is wrong. Okay, We'll set the condition code again, and we'll stop. But this program does not work or does not meet the requirements. That's why I used it as an example. So there you go. That's how you set a, a breakpoint based on a condition code.